Hi there, I have a previous video on how to derive the total number of days from the date range selector. So basically, when you select the date range over here, for example, we choose 1st of July to 8th of July, it's going to return us 8 days. And there's one question from my viewer that asked me how to derive the number of Mondays within the date range. So I don't have much time to edit and record this week. So I just quickly put together this video and hopefully it can help you. So what I did is to create a calculated field called weekday over here. And what it's going to do is it's going to return us the number that represent the weekday. So this is the formula. I'll leave the link in the description so you can refer to it later. So for example, the 1st of July, it falls on Thursday. It's going to return a number 4. And taking back the Monday's example, it's going to return us number 1. And then for the next step, we are going to create a calculated field called Monday Day Count. Basically, it's going to create a logic where whenever there's a Monday, we're going to count it as 1. Whereas for the rest of the days, we're going to leave it as 0. This is the formula for the first calculated field that I mentioned just now. Basically, you just key in the weekday formula and then in the bracket, you can key in the date field that you are using. For the second formula, it's going to use a case when the weekday equals to 1, which represents Monday, then we're going to count it as 1. Otherwise, we are going to count it as 0. And then remember to follow all the syntax. If you want to find out more about the case when, you can refer to my previous video on this topic. The final step is to drag in the formula we just created, which is the Monday count, into this field called metric. And here you go. We have the total number of Mondays in a scorecard. So for example, if I select now, 1st of July until 13th of July, it's going to return us two number of Mondays. Let's say we select 20th of July is going to return us number three. So that's all for today. I hope you find this useful and see you in the next video. Bye.